ओम मनी पद्मे हूँ 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 ओम मनी पद्मे Let's look at the second howl. The howl of black lines or black line howl. Black line howl is characterized by the presence of burning black lines covering the body symbolizing immense suffering and despair. Okay? Have you met somebody who's constantly in despair, just hopeless in despair all the time? Okay? They are in this howl. They are in the second realm of howl. Okay, let's describe this hell. Step into the darkness where hopelessness prevails and life loses all meaning and purpose. Souls in this hot hell find themselves disconnected, lost, and confused by negative thoughts. They allow self-doubt and fear to cloud their perception, blinding them to the light that could guide them towards a brighter tomorrow. Escaping this hell requires finding the light within, reconnecting with our inner selves, and rekindling hope. Through daily practice of gratitude, mindfulness, and self-compassion, we can dispel the darkness and illuminate our path. Illuminate our path. There is a way out. It's not Buddhism. It's not Christianity. It's not Hinduism. It's not Sufism. It's not Islam. It's not. It's just sit. Breathe. Your nose. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. If you're truly, truly, truly in hell and you are in such negativity, such self-doubt and, and you are truly, truly hopeless in negativity, self-doubt and all of this, the best way, way to go is focus on the breath. And when I am lost in a second hell and I'm like, how did I get myself here? How am I so negative? How am I just surrounded by so much negativity and so many negative people? I always come back to the nose, nostrils here. I learned this in Vipassana. The first three days of Vipassana, you focus on breathing on the nose, just this section. Breath in, breath out. Okay. And what I usually, if I cannot even just get myself to get, have like a positive thought, I just sit and breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And if you do this for five minutes, your, your mind will start calming down a little bit. And then if you want to continue, you can follow this four breaths in, in through the nose, out through the mouth, right? May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be liberated from all ignorance. May I be liberated from all suffering. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be liberated from all ignorance. May I be liberated from all suffering. May all beings be happy. 
May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be liberated from all ignorance. May all beings be liberated from all suffering. May all beings be happy. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be liberated from all ignorance. May all beings be liberated from all suffering. Togos, Togos, Togos. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Be happy, be happy, be happy. Just practice that. Just practice that. Okay. Practice that for as, as until you feel good. Just keep saying that to yourself. Just sit. Just sit on the floor. Especially if you could sit like uh, on the earth and you've got a tree supporting you and just put your back against the tree and just breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. When you start with Ubuntu, you're already a visionary leader of tomorrow. We've created a global platform to connect the world's most disruptive geniuses, to shatter stereotypes, master collaboration, and lead like visionaries. In this app, Future Gen Leaders creates exclusive digital magazines, specialized transformational programs, and content exclusives. Now available on every device, for everyone, anytime. How will you create a bold tomorrow?